Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve the simultaneous system of equation by substitution method. And here we are dealing with two equations. One of them is quadratic while the other one is linear. Let me call this first one equation number one. And the second one I am going to call equation number and now in the very first step we are going to substitute y equal to x plus 4 in equation number 1 that means whatever we got y equal to x plus 4 we are going to substitute over here in equation number 1 so let's get started so this is going to be equation number 1 is simply become x square plus y squared where y is our x plus 4 square equal to 64 and now we are going to expand this part x plus 4 square by using this fact a plus b square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square let's go ahead and take care of that one that's going to be x square plus that is going to become x square plus 8x plus 4 square is going to be 16 equal to 64. Let me just move this 64 on the left hand side. So let's combine everything to x square and x square becomes simply 2x square plus 8x plus 16 and when you move this 64 on the other side become negative 64 equal to 0 or uh, let's simplify furthermore 2x square plus 8x minus 48 turns out to be equal to 0 as we can see that all of these terms are divisible by 2 so I'm going to divide across the board each and every term by 2. So that is going to simply give us 1x squared plus 4x minus 24 equals to 0. And this is a quadratic equation. And we are going to solve this one by using this quadratic formula that is right up here. And now in order to find A, B and C, let's compare this quadratic equation with our standard form quadratic equation which is right up here. And this can tell us that our A equals to 1 b equal to positive 4 and c is simply negative 24 and here's the quadratic formula and we are going to fill in the blanks right now so this is going to give us x equal to in our case b is 4 so that's going to become negative 4 plus r minus the square root of b in our case is 4 square minus 4 time a is 1 c is negative 24 everything is divided by 2 times 1. Now as we are running out of space on the left hand side I am going to move to the right hand side right up here I am going to put down x equal to negative 4 plus r minus the square root of 4 square is 16 and then that is going to become positive 96 everything is divided by 2 let's simplify furthermore that's going to be negative 4 plus r minus the square root of 112 16 plus 96 is 112 divided by 2 and here I put down 
square root of 112 right up here let's simplify it square root of 112 could be written as 16 times 7 all right if we split them up if we break them down that's going to become square root of 16 times square root of 7 and we know that the square root of 16 is 4 and then square root of 7 so that means I can just simply put down this thing as negative 4 plus or minus this could be written as 4 times square root of 7 and here I can put this 2 as I can break it up as well into two fractions so I can get this is going to be x equal to negative 4 over 2 is going to be a negative 2 plus or minus and here you, we can reduce this 4 divided by 2 is going to become 2 square root of 7 and now let's look at these two signs positive and negative sign that means I am going to break it up separate it into two numbers first is going to be negative 2 plus 2 square root of 7 and the other one is going to be negative 2 minus 2 square root of 7 once again one with a positive sign and one with a negative sign so this is our so that turns out to be x equal to simply negative 2 plus 2 square root of 7 is our first x value and over here x equal to negative 2 minus 2 square root of 7 is a, another value and we know from our equation number 2 y equals to x plus 4 let's find the value of y by substituting this x value so y equal to our x value is negative 2 plus 2 times square root of 7 and then plus 4 so if we simplify that is going to become positive 2 plus 2 square root of 7 and that is our corresponding value of y for this given x value and now we are going to repeat the same process for the other value of x and we know y equal to x plus 4 from our equation number 2 so y equals to our x value is negative 2 minus 2 square root of 7 and then plus 4 let's simplify this thing that's going to give us 2 minus 2 square root of 7 so this is our corresponding y value for this another x value and here is our final answer with two sets of ordered pair one on the left hand side represents these x and y value and the right hand side order pair represents these x and y values on the right hand side thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye